Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing a video on how to update your 5M server artifacts, which is overall just updating your 5M server. Um, hopefully you're doing well today. It has been quite a busy week for me. It's my first week of university, um, so I've been kind of adjusting and getting into all that. Um, so I will have a video on some of my experiences very soon. I can't wait to share that with you. Anyway, let's get straight into today's video. Today we are going to update our 5M server. Um, if you've never updated your 5M server, it's kind of relating to how you installed it in a way. Um, it is really, really easy to do so, so I just recommend following along. If you are on a Linux version, we won't be covering that in this video, but um, it's pretty much the same exact same steps, but you would be using your console or um, something like that to do that rather than Windows, obviously. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is to find your server. If you don't have a server already, I'll leave a link in the description on how to get your 5M server started. It's how to create it using the simple installer, which is really easy. There's also an older version of how to do it on the channel as well. Um, but what you want to do is you want to find your server folder, not your server data folder that has like your server.cfg or any of your resources or anything. You want to find the folder that is full of all the server DLL files that actually run the thing. This is what runs the 5M server. This is how it manages it. Um, this is all of the systems for that. Um, so you'll want to find wherever this is on your uh, machine. For me, I have it in the same place as my um, other folders with the start.bat file and everything. So I'm going to find this. If you're running TX admin, it's probably going to be whatever folder you installed TX admin from. Um, exact same type of thing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the 5M build uh, Windows site. I'll leave this down in the description along with a link to the Linux version if you are using Linux. And what you want to do is you just want to download the latest recommended version. I apologize for the very loud air conditioner in the background. It's very hot in here, so it seems to have kicked up speed. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and download the latest recommended version. Um, you just go ahead and click this. It will download in a zip file. Go ahead and open up this zip file in a uh, file type of explorer, WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, one of those works. Um, and what you're going to see is you're going to see everything in here is almost exactly the same as everything in here unless they've added something. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this whole folder and we're just going to drag it in and replace our current files. Um, so there we go. Drag it in. It's just going to go ahead and have been moving about a thousand or so items in there. Once it's done, it's going to ask, hey, can we replace it? Go ahead and press replace, just like that. Wait until it's 100% complete, then you can exit out of the zip file. And if we start our server, we will see um, it is running the latest version. Sometimes the ways you can tell if it's running the latest version or not is that they change the color of console, they change the startup messages, they, they do something like that. But you can see, obviously this is a little different than in my previous videos on what it looks like. So it has loaded up, we are good to go, we're on the latest version. So just make sure you do this um, every few weeks. They do have a cutoff when your server will no longer appear on the server list. I think it's three or four weeks of versions or something. So make sure, or maybe it's three months, I don't remember, but just make sure to keep updating your servers. It's very important. Hopefully this does help you figure it out, and I'll be back in the next few videos with more info. See you next time, everyone.